TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here for our PowerPoint tutorial on using the Auto Content Wizard. For beginners, I think the Auto Content Wizard, which I'm going to show you in a couple seconds, is a great way to begin. And again, when you first start using PowerPoint, I don't want you to be concerned as much with the content as much as the flow of information. Just get in and get your feet wet, and the Auto Content Wizard is a great way to do that. On the right hand side of your screen, or my screen I should say, you see from Auto Content Wizard, and it says New Presentation from Auto Content Wizard. And what I want you to see is, or what I want you to know, is if you don't see this toolbar over here on the right, you might have to go up to View, go down to Toolbars, over to the right, and make sure that the Task Pane is selected. Because if that's not selected, you won't necessarily see this over on the right hand side. If you see this task pane, but you don't see the right thing, you're not seeing the auto content wizard, there are arrow keys here that you can go forward and back. So if someone was using PowerPoint and they've navigated away from this specific area, you might want to go forward or back just till you get here. So the first step is you have to have sort of a, an idea for presentation. And what I want you to think about when you're doing a presentation is I want you to think like you're producing or directing or creating a movie. And that movie has different scenes, it has settings, it has all the information you need to convey a point or a story. So keep that in the back of your mind and we'll come back to that. But when you start, click on From Auto Content Wizard. And the reason I want you to do this is because this is going to start the process of a PowerPoint presentation. If, after I get done with this, you'll see what's occurred and you'll see why this is a good starting point. So when you get into the Auto Content Wizard, I want you to click on Next. And at this point, they are going to ask you what kind of presentation is it you want to give. They have what are called general, corporate, projects, or sales and marketing. If I want to see, for example, the projects, I can click on this and it will give me different types of outlines. And again, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get through this process as to the kind of outline. Initially, I'm not as concerned which one you pick, just as long as you pick one and just sort of work with it. Because again, to learn PowerPoint, you have to practice. I'm going to click on General, and I'm going to click on Generic, and then I'm going to click on Next. Now, what kind of presentation is this going to be? Again, I don't want you to get caught up initially with some of these details. But what I want you to do is have this presentation show up on your computer screen. So you can have someone looking over your shoulder or sitting next to you and you can run a presentation. You can change this later if you need to. So we're just going to keep on screen presentation and click next. Now what is the present presentation title? Now when you work with PowerPoint, long before you sit down with PowerPoint, you're going to want to be aware of the fact that you have to have these ideas and concepts down on a piece of paper before you ever sit down to do it in PowerPoint. The first and most important thing you do to do a good PowerPoint presentation is completely forget about PowerPoint. A PowerPoint presentation has to be designed and thought out on paper before you ever get to this point. We're doing this a little backwards for our illustration or teaching purposes. So I'm going to come up with a presentation title. Making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'm going to make it just simple PB and J, peanut butter and jelly. Making a PB and J. Should we put some space in here? Uh, let's see. Let's go and put it like that. I don't know if I like that, but that's okay. An American tail is going to be our. Well, let's put in, instead of an American tail, an American sandwich. Oh, eesh. There we go. An American sandwich. And I don't know if it's an American sandwich, but I'm going to call it as such. So we have our presentation title. We have a footer, and you'll see how that will come to play. In our footer, we're going to have the date that this presentation was last updated and the slide number. I'm going to click Next. 
When we get to this point where we can't click Next any longer, we're going to simply click on Finish. Okay, let's take a look at what's happened. On the screen, predominant slide is making a PB&J. This is our title. I'm the author, Tony Hollowitz. Here we have the date down at the bottom, and then in the footer, an American sandwich. Okay, so we have used the Auto Content Wizard to start the outline of our presentation. If I draw your attention over here on the left hand side, here is the outline. And this is what the Auto Content Wizard has done. So sometimes if you're not sure how to get into PowerPoint, come in and start the Auto Content Wizard because this will give you an outline over on the left hand side of things that you might want to talk about or a layout or sort of the framework for your presentation. So the introduction we want to state the purpose of this discussion, okay? And what I can do is I can edit it right here or right here, or I can actually edit it on the slide. So when we're working with a presentation the very first time, the Auto Content Wizard gives you the layout you need or the thought process you need to start the presentation. So in our next tutorial, we're going to come in and sort of go past the auto content wizard because we've set it up and we're going to actually start working on the presentation and some of the thought process behind this. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you so very much for seeing how the auto content wizard works. It's a great tool for getting you started. Thank you.